time for today's devotion from history. When the famous member of the Beatles, George Harrison, was asked who his favorite actress was, he replied, Margaret Rutherford. Ever heard of her? Well, she's one of my favorite actresses, too. Margaret was born on this day, May 11th of 1892. Now, her father had spent much of his life in and out of homes for the criminally insane. He had actually bludgeoned his father, a congregational minister, to death when he was young and spent most of his time trying to recover from mental illnesses. Well, Margaret's mother, unable to cope with the stress of being married to a mentally ill husband, committed suicide when Margaret was just three. Her father tried to raise her as best he could, but she really spent most of her childhood going back and forth from different relatives. She did marry a man named Stringer Davis and found then after she married that she was unable to have any children. So she decided that she would adopt, and she did. Stringer and Margaret adopted a 20-year-old writer who had no family of his own, and they invited him to join theirs. Margaret was a teacher of elocution, and she decided when she was 33 that she'd like to try to fulfill a dream of hers, the stage. But Margaret had a little bit of trouble. She was not one who would ever be cast as a romantic leading lady. She was really pretty heavy and rather dowdy looking. But it was soon discovered that Margaret had an amazing flair for comedy acting and she starred in some of the most successful British films of the mid-20th century. She was there alongside Patrick O'Neill, Richard Burton, Elizabeth Taylor, and Orson Welles. She even managed to get an Academy Award and a Golden Globe. Not too bad for Margaret Rutherford. You know, there are times when we want to take a look at ourselves and we compare ourselves to other people. And when we do that, somebody always ends up falling short, usually us. If Margaret had spent her time sitting in the dressing room looking in the mirror comparing herself to Elizabeth Taylor, she probably would have never gotten an Academy Award. But she knew that she had her place in the world and she was willing to step out and find it. No matter how dysfunctional her family was, no matter what she looked like, no matter what odds seemed to be against her, Margaret Rutherford was going to make it happen. My absolute favorite performances of hers are her renditions of Miss Marple in Agatha Christie's uh, Miss Marple series. You ought to check them out. They're absolutely hilarious. You know, today, as you step out to make history, don't waste your time comparing yourself to the Elizabeth Taylors of the world. You look in the mirror, find what God has made, and then jump out on the stage of life and make your own history. And have a ball doing it. I'll see you tomorrow on Devotions from History.